name a central angle of the given circle with center O. Central angle means it's formed by um, by two points and O must be in the uh, center of the angle. So COD is is a central angle. COD, COB is a central angle. طبعا EOC, COD, BOD all are central angles. So D, B, and A are not on the center. So these three are not central angles. We have three circles and he's asking to select the uh, correct options. So minor arc AB is congruent to minor arc PR. AB and PR, this is correct. Minor LM is congruent to minor LK. LM and LK, yes. The rest all is wrong because angle, here he's telling AB is congruent to LM. AB is congruent to LM. It is not congruent because this radius is 2 and this radius is 4. So these two angles are not congruent and these two angles are not congruent. So the relation between this and this or this and this, it's not correct. Only these two are congruent, so the relations here are correct. And here these two are congruent because it's giving like this is 50 and this is 50. And of course this and this are congruent and this and this are congruent. These two circles are congruent because they have the same uh, radius. This one doesn't have a relation with this or with this. So AB, AB in this circle is not congruent to LM and QR is not QR here is not congruent to KL here and LM is not congruent to LM is not congruent to PR. Uh, it's given BA is 60. This angle BOA is 60 or the arc is 60 because the arc of the central angle is equal to the central angle. So this is 60. This also will be. 60. What is the measure of B, D, A? He wants the rest. The whole circle is 360 minus 60, so 300. So B, D, A is 300. And this circle, he wants the measurement of arc RT. Arc RT is equal to the central angle, which is 40. The measurement of TRV. TRV. This arc is equal to the central angle, which is 40 plus 60, 100. In this circle, he wants U, T. He already is giving you that U, T is a diameter. So the arc U, T is half of the circle. 360 divided by 2 is 180. R, T, U. So I have this 180 plus 40. So it will be 220. He wants the value of N, M, P. So this big arc. So it's equal to 360 minus 50 because this PN is equal to 50. So 360 minus 50 is 310. Uh, he's giving you that PQ is a diameter. He wants RQ. That PQ is a diameter. That means this is a half the circle, 180. 180 minus, this is central angle. So this arc is 50. 180 minus 50. So this is 130. So P. Uh, so RQ is 130. PRQ, PRQ, this is half the circle, so 180. Uh, the measure of minor arc MN is Y plus 8. The measure of minor arc LN is 144. So LN, this all is 144. MN, this one is Y plus 8. Fill in the blank. If minor arc LM is congruent to MN, so this is equal to this and I have all this that means this plus this is equal to 144 so LM equal to MN equal to Y plus 8 and LM plus MN is equal to 144 so Y plus 8 plus Y plus 8 is equal to 144 or you can say Y plus 8 is equal to half the 144 So y plus 8 is equal to 144 divided by 2, which is 72. 72, I'll take the 8 to the other side. 72 minus 8 is 64. In this diagram, he's giving you that the angle B is 46 and he wants the arc AB. This is a congruent triangle because these two lines are a radius. So this is 46 and this is 46. 46 plus 46 is 92. Uh, so this angle will be 180 minus 92, which is 88. And the arc is equal to the central angle, so it will also be 88.